Tom Huck is known for his dark and edgy work. This printmaker creates woodcuts that satirize American society, oftentimes his own roots in rural Missouri. His work is graphic and hard-hitting and has been exhibited in places like the Whitney Museum of Art and the Art Institute of Chicago. We visited Tom's workplace, Evil Prince Studio. We'll let him take it from there. The most dangerously wonderful art is the stuff that marries technique with concept. And, and then it goes out into the world. That's when something can really make a difference. The good thing about prints is that you can make copies of things so you can reach a little bit of a broader audience. I, I want things to have punch to them and look a little rough as well as fluid and woodcuts for me. It has a graphic power to it once it's printed. The lines themselves are a little rough, and the accumulation of those, the accumulation of those lines on a whole really have an impact in a certain unique way to it. I'm always thinking about what I'm going to be doing next while I'm struggling to carve these things out of wood. And I'm basically fighting the, the speed of the world by doing this something that is as technologically advanced as it was in the 1500s. Most of my work is done out of anger and revenge. <laughs> so the, the topics that I pick tend to be things that I know are touchy subjects and those things tend to need to be graphic and um, all on display, all out there truthful in reality. A lot of my stuff comes from print history, a lot of it comes from heavy metal music, a lot of it comes from uh, comic books. The attitude of Frank Zappa and his satirical vision along with the lyrics of Motorhead and how in your face they are, that's me mixed with Albert Dewar. And so by the time these things are morphed into my pieces. They've gone through a huge amount of drawing and thinking about in sketchbook form. I try to do a great drawing on the block and then worry about carving it later. I can add dots or dashes in on black fields of, of value, darker fields of value. I choose to work in black and white with most of my stuff because I'd rather you imagine the color. It's more powerful in that way. It's an old-fashioned apprenticeship system. It's not about the materials or the pleasure of working with the materials. For me, it's about uh, the history of the medium. I'm chasing the ghost of, of Durif. I was 13 years old, and my grandparents took uh, me to Italy. I saw a whole show of Durif's apocalypse, the great woodcuts that he did when he was in his 20s. It, there's everything there in those prints for a 13-year-old Iron Maiden fan to love. There's whores of Babylon, battling knights, gruesome witches, devils, all kinds of crazy subject matter. My parents then took me to Washington, D.C. We went to the National Gallery of Art. Mom gave me like 20 bucks, and there was a, the complete woodcuts of Albert Durer book there. And then when I got to college, I did my first print. I knew then what a woodcut was and how hard it is to do and how amazing. I was, Durer was amazing, and it was like uh, a lightning bolt hit me. It was the closest thing to a spiritual awakening that, that I probably will ever have. And it was a high that I can't describe, but in that very moment, I knew exactly what I was meant to do. And it was all on for me.